Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers. Today I'm going to show you a special type of heat exchanger known as Rotary Wheel. In this case, we'll provide here are different temperatures from different entries, and there will be very little bit of mixing of these different fluids. And inside this one, we are providing one kind of rotating wheel, and that will be rotating with a very slow speed. For understanding the geometry, let us cut it from front end. You see here. So this is the rotating wheel. And from this entry, we will provide hot air at a temperature of 50 degrees centigrade. And this is the exit of hot air. At the same time, we will provide fresh air from this entry at a temperature of 20 degrees centigrade. And this will be the exit of fresh air. In this case, we are expecting gain in temperature of cold air at this exit. Similarly, we are expecting a loss at the exit of this end. Right? So, with that wasting time, let us start our simulation. And for starting this simulation, we have to initiate the flow simulation environment, and that will be done using wizard. By keeping the name of the project as project 3, next to that, we need to select unit systems, and by default, we are considering this one as SI system, and as it is a transfer problem we can set temperature in degrees celsius next to that we need to select type of analysis it is an internal analysis and from physical features we need to select heat conduction in solids and gravity will be involved in this case and the direction of gravity will be y indicated by this green arrow so along y it will be minus 9.81 meter per second square and along z it will be zero. Next to that, we need to select fluids. We are considering air as the fluid. Next to that, materials. Let us consider aluminum alloys for this material. It will be aluminum 6061 alloys. And we are considering default outer wall thermal conditions and roughness. Next to that, Thermodynamic parameters pressure will be 1 to 1 to 5 pascal and temperature will be 20 degrees centigrade. And solid parameters again, it will be having same temperature, it will be 20 degrees centigrade. Let us finish this. You can see this is the computational domain. Let us hide computational domain before starting this simulation. We need to provide that rotational region. So let us go back to the general settings again and we need to provide rotation regions of course. We need to select rotation and for type of selection we are considering local region averaging and we were starting this solution from initial conditions we need to disable this rotating region and that to be considered as fluid only. Fan dummy space we have selected and that to be disabled as solid component we need not consider fluid subdomains because we're considering only here at different temperatures and also there will be some kind of mixing of these two different types of fluids so we'll not consider different fluid subdomains in this case we're considering a little bit of mixing of two different fluids okay and from rotating regions we need to provide the velocity of this fan insert rotating region and we need to select that fan let us consider the angular velocity of this fan equal to 100 radians per second apply next to that we need to apply one boundary conditions and for applying boundary conditions in a better way we can have a segmented view of this model so we can cut it from a specific plane Let's cut it from front end. Done. Now we need to apply boundary conditions, right? Inside boundary condition, 
initially will provide fresh air from this opening at a velocity of 0 0.5 meter per second and temperature at this end it will be 20 degrees centigrade done and we need to provide velocity from the top entry of this one with the same velocity at high temperature so boundary conditions inside boundary condition and it will be in that velocity with the same rate of 0 0.5 meter per second and temperature in this case we will consider it as 50 degrees centigrade so thermodynamic parameters and temperature it will be 50 degrees centigrade from this location we will provide hot air at a temperature of 50 degrees centigrade and with a velocity of 0 0.5 meter per second apply done two more boundary conditions are to be applied at the exit locations so that will be atmospheric pressure at the exit location insert boundary condition it will be atmospheric pressure or environmental pressure at the exit locations select apply done now the final one you need to apply atmospheric pressure at this location also insert boundary condition and it will be environmental pressure at this location Grand check all the boundary conditions are applied next to that we need to select some goals and definitely it will be surface goals from the exit locations goals insert surface goals we need to have temperature at the exit locations it will be temperature of fluid that is average temperature of fluid at exit locations let us select this one first one and to select the other location also select both the locations selected and we need to create goal for each surface separately Bridget, uh, let us rename this one as average temperature at hot exit it is a surface goal and we are renaming this one as average temperature at hot exit similarly the second one it will be average temperature at cold exit next to that we need to run this simulation let us run it with new calculations let us see the solver window and from settings you can select temperature distribution of fluid let us select that one you can see from hot entry air is passing at a temperature of 50 degrees centigrade and as time is approaching the color in being different that means the temperature at different levels are being different and at the exit of cold air temperature is in the range of green zone that means in the, it is in the range of 20 to 25 degrees centigrade you can see here this is the rotating region let the iterations move on by the same time you can see the goals also let us select both the goals and we can view it let us select the goals at the top you can select it this one here these are the goals and by the same time we will see your presentation and pictorial format also so it is showing that temperature at the cold exit is 33.8 degrees centigrade at this moment and average temperature at the hot exit it is 21.54 degrees centigrade there's some kind of mixing of this hot and air fluids Now at this moment, average temperature at the hot air exit is 22.05 degrees centigrade. Now it is clearly understood and it is visible. 
that average temperature at cold exit is 38 degrees centigrade and that of hot exit it is 35.12 degrees centigrade it is a steady state analysis as time will approach we will get the different temperature at the exit different levels so we need to have the steady state temperature at the exit locations right our server is finished initially you will see cut plots insert cut plots and you will see temperature distribution from front end instead of pressure we can select temperature fluid you will see that from front end let us select that one it will be better to see this cut plot in the form of animation right let us play you can see clearly how hot air is passing from this opening and at this opening we are having some kind of mixing of these two different fluids because from this entry also we are providing cold air at a temperature of 20 degrees centigrade and from this opening hot air at a temperature of 50 degrees centigrade and at this location we are having some kind of fan which is rotating at a slow speed right let us see pressure distribution also for that we need to clear and hide this one and we need to edit this part instead of temperature distribution we will see pressure distribution from this front plane so we want to see pressure distribution from front plane you can check you can see pressure distribution this is also different at a different locations it is better to see this one in the form of animation let's play so pressure at the entry of hot air it is high and similarly pressure at the exit locations it is equal to atmospheric pressure as it is determined by the boundary conditions right and at the fan location pressure is in the middle range okay let us clear and hide these things next to that we need to have surface goals that is we want to see temperature at the surfaces of this rotary wheel insert surface goal and we need to see temperature of fluid with all faces green check it is showing temperature at different locations are different let us see this one from isometric view it is clearly understood that at the entry of hot air temperature is in the range of 50 degrees centigrade and at the exit of fresh air it is mixed zone starting from 19.81 degrees centigrade and at the top side it is a little bit of higher similarly you can see it at the other side also let us view it from different location here this is the other location again in this location also you can see temperature is in the mixed zone right next to that we need to see dynamics of flow particles that is how the flow particles will be moving from different locations with the different temperatures that can be viewed from flow trajectories before that we need to hide these surface plots let us clear and hide flow trajectories insert flow trajectories and we will see temperature of fluid from different locations and instead of 20 numbers we will make this one as 200 and the size of this one will make it 0.25 meter Brain check. You can see the size of these air particles, and when you see this from front end, let us play this. This is showing dynamics of flow particles, some kind of mixing of different fluids at different temperatures are being done at the fan location. You can see clearly that from this opening, we are providing air at a high temperature of 50 degrees centigrade and from this opening we are providing air at a temperature of 20 degrees centigrade at the fan location some kind of mixing of air is occurring and you can see here 
this is the exit of cold air which is in the range of 39 to 43 degree centigrade it is a mixed zone exactly the same way and the exit of hot air you see the temperature is in the range of 33 to 39 degrees centigrade right let us view it in a different way so this is the dynamics of flow particles you can see some kind of vortex is created at this location that can be avoided by changing the velocities of air and also by changing the speed of the fan also let us clear and hide next to that we need to see the results from goal plots insert goal plots and we will see all the results that means temperature at the hot and cold exit locations let us export this one to excel first one is average temperature cold air at the exit location it has undergone 205 numbers of iterations and at the exit location we can see the temperature is 34.74 degrees centigrade this is the exit of cold air initially provided cold air at a temperature of 20 degrees centigrade and at the exit location of cold air you can see the temperature is 34.74 degrees centigrade you can see a huge gain in temperature of cold air it is gained from 20 degrees centigrade and finally it has come off at a temperature of 34.74 degrees centigrade right next to that we will see temperature distribution at hot exit also this is the second one temperature at the hot exit you can see after 205 numbers of iterations temperature at the hot exit is 26.30 degrees centigrade right let us close it so with this one we will conclude our analysis this is a very simple analysis of rotary wheel in this analysis we have provided air from two different entries at different temperatures and you could see that there was a very little bit of mixing of these two different fluids and the location of this fan right thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye